Three days in a row, I had a dream about storms, hurricanes and earthquakes. In one of my dreams, a storm cloud tried to engulf me. When it failed, a large man appeared in front of me. Did I interpret correctly that it was the god Thor in my dream? Quite likely. Generally, the runes very often spontaneously activate the channels of certain gods. It would be unwise for me to tell you exactly what this or that meant. These signs are meant for you personally. I'll give you some clues, but generally it is more valuable doing your own research by reading the Eddas. Read the Eddas, you'll find everything there. Just read them carefully. The peculiarity of reading this type of literature is that you can't just rush through it. First you read it in small increments. One poem, think it through. Another fragment from Havamal, think it through. A few more lines from Voluspa, think it through once again. Read one saga, then another. Compare the poetic Edda and the prose Edda. Curse out Snorri for describing it the way he did. Then read one translation, another translation. It's meticulous work, colleagues. These are ancient texts. They are extremely metaphorical. Take a look at the syntax used in the poetic Edda. Subject, predicate, full stop. That's it. They were very concise, the northerners. They never lied, so they always tried to choose the words in such a way to accurately reflect the meaning. They didn't mislead. The metaphorical nature of their plot is both the key and the meaning. Read, understand, and you will recognize yourself in certain songs, in certain verses. And this is a valuable thing, very valuable. Keep searching. If you are in doubt, read the Eddas. If you don't understand, read the Eddas. Buy the book, open it on the first random page, start reading from any point and you will find the answers and cues to all of your questions. Those are truly very magnificent books.